Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm Danish and you are watching Iraqi Dinar YouTube channel, hopefully you all will be fine. Let's start today. The governor of the Central Bank of Iraq recently announced a groundbreaking development, the launch of a new mechanism for financial transfers to Tokyo in Euros. This represents a significant milestone for Iraq's financial infrastructure, as it showcases the increasing coordination between Iraq and major international financial hubs. While this development opens up exciting possibilities, it is important to understand the level of behind-the-scenes work that must be ongoing to ensure such a mechanism functions smoothly. The amount of coordination involved, especially between regulatory bodies, financial institutions, and international oversight agencies, must be intense. Given the intricacies of global banking, cross-border transfers, and currency exchanges, this level of coordination is crucial to ensure that the new system operates seamlessly without any disruptions that could affect trade and business operations between Iraq and Tokyo. Mr. Saimi, a prominent figure in the financial community, has been gathering information from various sources and circulating rumors that a currency swap may take place in November. Though this information is not yet official, and Mr. Saimi himself is careful to emphasize that he is not speaking on behalf of the central bank, he believes that this is a promising development. He suggests that the timeline he is hearing could be accurate, which would be significant for Iraq's broader economic reforms. These changes, if implemented, could have far-reaching implications for Iraq's financial sector, especially in terms of increasing the value of the dinar and establishing a stronger presence in the global financial landscape. Iraq's Prime Minister, Mohammad Shia al Sudani, confirmed from New York that the currency sale window, an essential aspect of Iraq's financial system, will close at the end of this year. This announcement was accompanied by the revelation that the Iraqi government intends to establish a new bank that adopts the latest technologies, potentially transforming how financial transactions are conducted within the country. The introduction of such a bank could modernize Iraq's banking infrastructure, making it more competitive and capable of handling high volumes of transactions both domestically and internationally. This would mark a significant shift in how Iraq manages its currency and banking operations, fulfilling long-held aspirations for a more sophisticated financial system. For decades, there has been talk of reforms and improvements, but now, finally, these changes seem to be materializing, making this moment a cause for celebration. The Central Bank of Iraq has already launched its financial transfers to Turkey in Euros, a development that signals the growing importance of non-dollar transactions in Iraq's international trade. The reopening of business ties with Turkey, particularly the resumption of activity along the vital oil pipeline that was halted in March 2023 due to illegal usage marks a new era of economic collaboration between the two countries. This resumption of transfers in euros also aligns with broader financial reforms that aim to diversify Iraq's international financial relationships. Along with the reopening of the pipeline, this mechanism opens new opportunities for businesses and governments to engage in smoother and more efficient transactions potentially leading to more robust trade and economic growth. Iraqi civil servants have been receiving their salaries from January 2024 to August 2024, which underscores the positive developments in Iraq's economic landscape. As these changes continue to unfold, many are anticipating a great celebration tied to the release of a new exchange rate for the Iraqi dinar. There is growing speculation that a significant shift in the dinar's value could be imminent, and many within the financial sector are preparing for this possibility. For instance, two bankers involved in the redemption of Iraqi dinar have indicated that they will be working over the weekend, with one noting that new system software updates are being made, 
while the other is preparing for an influx of new wealth management clients, signaling that major financial changes may be just around the corner. At the same time, the Iraqi dinar is facing pressure amidst regional tensions, but there is a silver lining in the broader economic picture. Hidden within recent reports is information suggesting that the Iraqi government is actively working to shrink the dinar note count, a move that would ultimately increase the currency's value. This strategy of reducing the amount of large denomination notes in circulation is part of a broader monetary reform plan aimed at stabilizing and enhancing the value of the dinar. With fewer large denomination notes available, there is a growing expectation that smaller denominations and even coins will be introduced to complement the new system. If the government were planning a currency low a situation where a currency's value is drastically reduced either there would be no need for coins. Thus, the introduction of coins is a strong indication that the value of the dinar will increase rather than decrease. As these monetary reforms reach their peak, the Central Bank of Iraq remains vigilant in protecting the new exchange rate and the integrity of the lower denomination notes that will soon be in circulation. While some politicians may be quick to label themselves as economic experts when speaking about these issues, the underlying logic of these reforms is based on basic economic principles. The introduction of new lower denomination notes coupled with the shrinking note count, points to a strategic effort to enhance the value of Iraq's currency and stabilize its economy for the long term. The central bank has also issued a warning to exchange companies, advising them not to charge more than 25,000 dinars in commissions when selling dollars to travelers. This regulatory move is part of a broader effort to control the exchange rate and prevent exploitation within the currency market. However, when managing personal wealth, it is important to understand that you do not need an army of advisors. By finding a reputable asset protection firm or attorney, you can effectively handle your financial planning without needing wealth managers, lawyers, or CPAs. Asset protection professionals often have in-house CPAs, which can help streamline the process of managing your wealth, thereby minimizing exposure to lawsuits, taxes, and estate planning issues. This approach will help you preserve your wealth, pass it on to your heirs without the burden of probate or estate taxes, and mitigate capital gains taxes. In the broader global context, Economic expert Nibal Al Masumi has predicted that the price of oil could surge to nearly $200 per barrel if the ongoing regional tensions escalate, particularly if Iran closes the Strait of Hormuz, a crucial waterway for global oil shipments. This development would have a significant impact on global energy markets, as the Strait of Hormuz facilitates the flow of approximately 20 million barrels of oil daily. If the strait were closed, it would create a massive disruption in oil supplies, pushing prices to unprecedented levels. The possibility of such a dramatic rise in oil prices would have ripple effects throughout the global economy, further highlighting the importance of stability in the Gulf region and the need for effective international diplomacy to prevent such an escalation.